Hello, my name is Jay, and today we're going to show you guys how to make homemade DIY thermal paste. Now, you're probably wondering, how the heck can you make thermal paste out of some really common household items that actually performs really well? Well, first of all, number one, this has been trial and error. We've actually gone through and tested something like 40 substances. If you want to check that out, it's in my crazy play, uh, paste playlist on this channel, which is a bunch of, which is me basically going through and testing a bunch of different substances to see how well they perform. What we determined is jelly is actually just the best by itself, and we're going to use the conductive properties of salt to actually help with the um, conductivity between the processor and the heat sink, and that's basically what we're going to be doing, and I'm just going to be mixing it on here as well with the spoon. So this is basically going to be the tutorial on how to put it on, apply it, uh, make it, all those things like that. But basically, if you want to know how well it performs, I've got some, let me see if I can get this out here real quick. So I've got some Thermal Take uh, TG7, which it actually does better than actual thermal paste. Now, obviously, any thermal paste you pull out may be crap or not. I personally think this is probably crap. So I don't know if that's an accurate judge of what is good or not. But I do know this performs a lot better than the Intel stock cooler paste. And for some, for some, um, fans and some heat sinks that come with uh don't come with thermal paste or come up with some really crap stuff you can put this on make this the only thing i do have to say though is it's really hard to get off um best thing to tell you is just get some alcohol and put it on there and the other thing is this probably won't last um more than a month so it's a temporary fix i wouldn't recommend putting jelly on there jelly is really good for conductivity but i don't think it's really good after a long time so i would not recommend leaving this on for indefinitely or for like a year or something you probably should get thermal paste but if you can't wait if you have like maybe you're going to go get run up to the store like at the end of the week maybe friday you want but you want to get all your stuff you want you know you want to get your system up well you just simply use this stuff and it's really easy to do and you can go through and start um using your computer with just some simple household items that are really coming to find. So the thing about jelly is I'm actually using um, this jelly right here and I'm just using some salt. It doesn't really matter, uh, but basically I mix them up. Uh, you don't need a lot. Um, I'm not even going to use, um, you probably should make maybe size of your pinky is all you're going to really need because um, you want to make sure you mix it in good and you also get out any air bubbles and then you put it on the processor and put it on there and it will work fine. We're actually going to be testing on the system back here to see how it performs so if you guys want to actually you know, see like the how well it performs compared to like you know the Intel stock cooler paste the cooler paste I have on there, and that's basically what we're gonna do as well. So anyway, I'm gonna get right into it. Let's start by making the paste, and then we'll put it on the system. Oh, we'll turn on the system with the current thermal paste, which is this TG7 by Thermal Take, and then we'll put on the new thermal paste and see what we get from there. So I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Now, first up, I like to start out by pointing out something. So as I said earlier, this is not gonna be a good thing to do if you know. You want to you plan on having this for a while so, uh, for me though i'm just going to literally just make like a little strip i'm using um i'm just using aluminum foil because simply it's a good place to mix stuff on and that's all i'm really using it for um nothing really else it's just a good thing to mix on a good flat surface because obviously i don't want to put it on this because this is just fabric and such so the thing is basically all you need is just to put a little bit of jelly on there and jelly is a household item preferably get something that doesn't have like um seeds in it or something and literally all you need to do is just get like, I don't know, that much jelly. And it will smell really, I don't know, weird um, it, when, you know, when you take it off. Um, just make sure you clean it off really well um, when you do switch out the paste with, you know, whatever the permanent solution is. But this actually does work really well. And you'll see that when we get the results. The other thing is you want to put a little salt. Um, for salt-wise, don't put a lot. Just enough. Uh, just like, I don't know, a little bit. I'll put it on the other side here. Oh, well, that's a, little, that's a little too much. I'll probably take half of that. And then you just want to mix it in there with the paste. And this will basically just make, I don't know, salty, um, I don't know, salty thermal paste. So then you just want to mix it back together, which you've kind of mixed in there. Try to keep any, um, try to stop like any air bubbles or anything like that because you don't want any of those. And then you, once you've kind of mixed it all together, as much as you can get in there, and you just kind of simply round it all back up together. And you pretty much got your thermal paste, which is what you're going to be putting on there. Now, so just trying to get it into like a good bit and try to get any air bubbles out and then you've got your thermal paste now the salt over here you don't really need and it's not really that expensive to make as well so you won't need any of these two items again but you've got yourself your little thermal paste right here that you'll be able to put on your processor and use now obviously this is just salt and jelly which is not really that complicated it's not really that difficult to do homemade um it's why it's really simple and stuff but the salt actually helps conduct and the jelly is a good conductor as it is so let's get into it let's start um, testing what we have currently in the system Let's go through and see what that does, and then let's test what we have with this on there. So we'll be right back. So what we've got in here is just a plain out Intel stock cooler. Let me see if I can just uh, 
camera real quick on here. This is the Intel stock cooler and i5 behind that. Uh, I gotta put a graphics card in there. I've got like two of them over here. The best part about this though is I've got multiple graphics cards and I, I just got this one for 10 bucks in the mail um, or 10 bucks on a yard sale. It was really good. It's just a plain out um, 660. Um, I'm gonna plug it in. It's only got, it's like, it's actually really good. Like for 10 bucks, man, like that's no issue whatsoever. So I'm gonna go put this in and see what we get from there. Because um, for some reason, it won't let me boot off the integrated graphics, which is really weird. But let's just go put this in there and um, we'll start testing it up. So be right back. Okay, so graphics installed. Let's turn this baby on. I believe it's this one right here. The system power. I like this motherboard for that reason. Everything's working up there okay. And um, I'm gonna go get the, uh, get it hooked up over here. So I'm gonna get everything set up. And then we'll uh, test with the default thermal paste that we got in there. And then let's we'll test it with the new thermal paste. Be right back. So by chance, if you're ever out there and you're interested in getting like a junk PC for testing, if you go to any of the recycling places, I literally got this PC with um, like full PC for 75 bucks. Now, so the graphics card was a that came in here was a GTX 460, and the funny thing was the plastic still wasn't off. So it's actually really funny to see that the plastic still they still didn't have the plastic off of the graphics card, which is kind of funny. But anyway, that's basically what you can get for 75 bucks is a full mine. That this thing plays Minecraft amazing because obviously Minecraft doesn't need anything. The moment you start needing stuff other than that, then you get into that situation right there. Okay, so the big thing is you're probably here to figure out like let's get into some testing. So first off, I'm gonna see how well I can get these things to compare. So let's see what we got here. So first of all, this is basically just a tester that can go through and stress test the processor, figure out how well it works, how well the thermal paste is. So let's start this off real quick. Um, Let's start this off. So, oh, that's a 3D. Never mind. That's the wrong one. That's testing the graphics card, which we don't need to test that. Let's see if we can do a CPU now. CPU. Let's test the CPU. So what we're looking at here, I believe, this is temperatures. If I'm correct, over here. And we're going to look at the temperatures real quick and just watch them shoot up. So I'll be right. I'm going to, like, time lapse this for you guys. And I'll just show you guys the temperatures and see what we get. If we max out at 85 or whatever. And then we'll test it with the new thermal paste. We'll put that on there and then we'll test it out. So be right back. So I'm going to call it here, and we're at about 81 degrees, I believe-ish. Um, don't get me wrong here. Yeah, we're around that at 2 minutes in. So we're going to see where it is at 2 minutes, see where it is um, with the new thermal paste in a second. But let's go, this is with real thermal paste, we're going to compare it with the fake thermal paste, which is getting around 83 degrees. It looks like it's going to not even borderline. It's getting pretty close, though. We'll just run over it, put it in the new system, or put the new thermal paste in the system, and see what we get from there. So be right back. So if you're out there and you're interested in getting some thermal paste and mixing it up and getting it to work with your nice little, uh, or getting it to be a good thermal paste or you're looking for something real quick to buy you some time, it's the best option for you. If you're interested in um, perhaps getting some more information, checking out some other videos like this, make sure you guys, if you did enjoy this video, of course, check out the Crazy Paste channel. It's a really, or the Crazy Paste uh, playlist. We have a whole bunch of our videos that we made about the different paste ways we tried them out and stuff. Definitely recommend watching a few. It's a good bit of information to figure out how we got here and how we determined like this was a good thing to do. And of course, if you're interested and you enjoy the stuff that we do on this channel, also feel free to subscribe. We try really hard on our content and we like to see a lot of people We'd like to see the feedback and stuff as well. And uh, I guess that'll be it for today. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys right back here, I guess, tomorrow when we're taking apart a hard drive, which is kind of weird because I've already taken it apart. And I'm not actually, yeah. It's like talking about the future really weirdly. But anyway, we'll hope to see you guys around here some other time. So thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.